間もなく列車が来ます危険ですから黄色い線の内側までお下がりください列車が来ますご注意ください I was off to Naoshima, also known as Art Island. Besides an island covered with art, I wasn't entirely sure what would be there, but when I asked people about weird places in Japan, this was one of the most common suggestions, so obviously I had to go. To get there, you have to make your way down to the sea in between Shikoku and Honshu. After a bit of a train ride to the town of Uno, you take a ferry across to Naoshima. On the island, you'll find the giant Mitsubishi materials plant taking up most of the north end, a couple of towns in the center, and a lot of green in the south. Later I'd find this is where all the cool art stuff is kept. But I wasn't there yet. At this point of the trip I was only on the ferry, and compared to every other ferry I had to ride, this was really, really big. <laughs> After about 30 minutes on the ferry though, I was there. Naoshima, the island of art and, well, to be honest, I, I had no idea. In fact, I didn't even know where I was going to stay that night. Ah, sh**. Anyways, welcome to Naoshima. A voice that can't be mistaken Telling you that you should be leaving The lonely life that you have known Are you hoping for love that can only be worked in The busy life of independence The thing you've been hanging on Well it takes time to work through all those lies That hurt you and I know that your virtue is strong Caught in the deep end Would anybody offer to jump in? Would anybody know how to find their way Into the life that you would make If you were sinking? I know I would wanna come running But would you ever give me the chance To show you better things in life Beyond the simple dreams you hold It's time you let go oh, For you were never meant to be after getting off the ferry, I ran into a conveniently placed tourist information building. There were people, posters, and flyers all about all the art that I could go see on the island. Classy museums, giant pumpkins, art houses, and even artsy trash cans. But all those things disappeared from my mind when my scopes landed on Bond. James Bond. Holy crap. There was a James Bond museum on Naoshima. Now that's what I call high class art. Alright, found the James Bond Museum. First place I'm going to stop here in uh, Naoshima. I think it's an awesome way to start. Alright, we're heading in. Whoa. So right now I'm in the James Bond Museum for the man with the red tattoo. Apparently in this James Bond novel, Bond comes to this island, Naoshima. And boy did they embrace it. I mean, how many small Japanese islands can claim that they were a part of James Bond history? The museum was filled with James Bond memorabilia, magazines, figurines, drawings, books, manga, videos, 
Even Daniel Craig signed a poster for them when Quantum of Solace came out. I'm sure that if I was a bigger James Bond fan, I'd be soiling my MI6-issued briefs right now. This whole 007 man with the red tattoo thing is such a big deal that they made an actual video tribute to, uh, to, to James Bond right here in Naoshima. You know, some people, some people think Sean Connery is the real James Bond. Some people think that Daniel Craig is the real James Bond. But to me, the real James Bond is always going to be this guy in this video. Now, I'm not going to spoil things for you by showing you the whole thing, but here's some of the better clips. One thing I can say for sure though, the acting, totally top notch. Oh, JB. Thanks. I think we'll be safe here. They won't dare attack us with so many witnesses about. Yeah, but it's been a busy day, hasn't it, JB? Yes, and it's very hot. Urgent request from Ms. Broccoli. You're to return to London at once. Before heading out, I dropped 100 yen into the donation bin. I really hope they use this money to make a sequel. <laughs> Sounds empty in there. But there was a lot to see and not a lot of time to go see it in. Not to mention I was walking. Kind of made me wish I had rented a bicycle back at the ferry station. No matter. This would let me take in the scenery. The beaches looked nice. The air smelled good. And this island was full of things to discover. Also, I needed to find a place to stay that night. Uh, that can wait till later. So when you come to Naoshima, you have a, I think you have a couple options on where you can go. You can head south. Uh, there's a museum, a couple of museums, I think, in the Venice, Venice House, something like that, uh, where you can stay. And that's uh, apparently the place to stay. It's kind of expensive, though. Um, or you can head east to the other side of the island, uh, where there's like an art project where they take abandoned houses, or artists take abandoned houses, and they, uh, they turn them into some sort of art exhibit, um, which sounds pretty sweet to me. First, I'm gonna, first I'm gonna head south, though, um, going down to the bigger museums. I figured that would be good before it gets dark, and then I'm gonna head up to the housing projects. Eventually, I came across my first big landmark, the Chichu Art Museum. This place was designed by the architect Tadao Ando, and I gotta say, he did a pretty good job. The building is actually mostly underground, and despite being made totally out of cement, it didn't look totally like a bunker. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring my camera inside. They were very, very strict about this. I did kind of bring a mini camera inside that I used to take a little bit of footage, but after experiencing the art, I came to a certain conclusion. I'm not smart. I'm not cultured. Um, nor do I know good art when I see it, but I do appreciate presentation. And the Chichu Museum had the best presentation of any museum or really anything kind of like that that I've ever seen. Seriously. Uh, when you're in there, you're not allowed to take pictures. They have, uh, they have guards posted everywhere. Um, I did take a little video with my little camera, but uh, to be honest, after, after seeing everything um, and realizing that it was the presentation of the art that really made the difference, that really made it an amazing, amazing place to be, um, I'm probably not going to show any of it, of the video. Seriously, if you come here, it is worth the 2,000 yen to get in. Um, it's just amazing. It's a quick, quick little jaunt through the museum, unless you're more cultured and you spend a lot of time looking at things like this. Oh, oh. But uh, it's totally worth it. Um, I was, I was kind of like, eh, 2,000 yen, can't even bring a camera in. What's the point? Um, but 
turns out to be uh, pretty sweet. On the way from here, I ran into plenty of outdoor exhibits. There were these 88 Buddhist figures made from the slag produced by burning industrial waste on Teshima Island. It was created to show both the good and the bad history of the Seto Island Sea. Also, there was this boat. I don't know if it was art or not, but maybe it's just someone's boat or something. And lastly, there was this outdoor exhibit. It moved me so much that I had to make a poem about it, right on the spot. I give Vogon poetry a run for its money, I think. I've always felt that good art deserves some good poetry. So I've come up with a poem. I will come up with a poem for you with this art. <clears throat> Big rock. Big tower. Big trees. My heart is pierced by big things. After that moving bit of poetry, I made my way towards this bath slash hot tub slash art exhibition. I took some pictures, and then this old guy came along. He's a resident of Naoshima, and spends his days chain smoking and walking around the island, presumably to offset the chain smoking. He began to tell me about the rocks. All of them were animals, he said. This one over here is a boar. This one's a deer. That one's a horse. That's a dog. So on and so forth. Obviously, he spent a lot of time on this island, so he has a much more refined and artistic palate. That or he wasn't smoking tobacco. I just looked, smiled, and agreed with him as much as I could. California no ue. Um, California no ue. The nice old dude then offered to show me around the rest of the island. We walked and we talked. He gave me some sage advice on how to pick up some girls. <laughs> he also showed me this boob peninsula. <laughs> then, after one of his many old man bathroom breaks, he showed me some art too. It was like having my very own tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> いや、そのやつの株ってのでピーが分かっ then suddenly we broke up. He said goodbye and presumably walked toward a bathroom or a cigarette shop. We had spent a good chunk of time walking around together. I thought it was finally about time to find some place to stay that night. The place I originally tried to reserve never responded to any of my emails. I did look out big time though, and found a place called Oyaji no Umi, a guest house run by an awesome family. Oh, and did I forget to mention they also ran a cat cafe full of the most adorable cats you've ever seen? Oh yeah.
That night, they also had a special guest, the owner's brother, Koike-san, who also happened to play professional baseball for the Chunichi Dragons. うん。え、90年から2001年。うん。有名な野球の知り合いありますか。たくさんいます。例えば、え、アメリカやったら、え、イチロー。うん。ジョ、ジョージマ。うん。え、たつは、あ、福留康介。カブス。イチローにとってな